So I made a Hogwarts Legacy video earlier today showcasing the global release times for early access players. Those players who have brought the uh, deluxe edition of Hogwarts obviously get to play the game three days early starting on the 7th of February. But wow, there is some super bad news for PC players. I mean, this is getting absolutely ridiculous now for those PC players. And today we get into it all. Okay, so if you play this game or plan to play this game on that PC, the PC Master Race, as many will call it, well, I have some bad, bad news for you. Well, there's actually two lots of bad news. The first set you've probably heard already, and that is you cannot preload, you cannot pre-install this game on PC, like you can on Xbox and you can on PS5. So as soon as release comes, you're able to play the game straight away. You're probably going to have a day one patch, but other than that, you'll be able to play straight away. Unfortunately, on PC, there is no preload. You cannot pre-install this game. So come the 7th of uh, February or the 10th of February, whatever edition you've brought, you'll have to download the game on release time and then start playing. But people, the news gets even worse than this. Because looking at on screen, now you can see the global early access time for PC is 10 a.m. PST, which is 1 p.m. EST. Now, when I made my early access video earlier, I didn't clock this at the time, but going through my Twitter feed, looking on my Discord, PC fans are pissed off, and rightfully so. Because, as you can see, 10 a.m. PST and 1 p.m. EST on the 7th is many, many, many hours after people on PS5 and the Xbox Series X and S get to play the game. For instance, we get to play the game as soon as the 7th of February hits, basically 12 a.m. the night before. And this is where things get even worse, because you can't even start to install the game at this time. You can only install the game, guys, at 10 a.m. PST. Now, if you play from the UK people, this is 6 p.m. on the night of the 7th of February, meaning that's when you'll be able to start to install your game. 6 p.m. on the night in the UK. It's probably going to take you an hour or so because we know those Steam download times are horrible. The game's what supposedly 80 odd gigabytes. There's then going to be a day one patch. I don't know if this is in with the one download. I'm not even sure. I don't know if it's going to be the same size of 85 gig or a bit bigger. But even still, I'm probably going to say for some people, it's going to take over an hour to download the game. Maybe a couple of hours. So you ain't going to get to play the game until 8 p.m. on the night if you're playing this on PC in the UK which is absolutely ridiculous. But it gets worse, people. People from Germany, this is 7 p.m. on the night. And as you can see on screen now, guys, it just gets later and later and later. So yes, this is absolutely bad news uh, for PC players. I, there's so many people on my Twitter, so many people complaining about this and rightfully so. I was originally gonna get this on PC, but as soon as I heard about the no pre-install, I quickly shifted to the Xbox Series X. Um, but yes, I don't know what to say. I don't know what I can do, but this is absolutely ridiculous. And I feel sorry for you PC players because this is just craziness. Why there's one global release time for PC players, I have absolutely no idea. When Xbox players, for a certainty, can even start playing this game from the SIP, people. They can play this game from the SIP. If you're in the UK and you change your console location to New Zealand, you can start playing around 11 a.m. on February 6th. Now compare that to if you're a PC player in the UK. I mean, it's what, a day and a half earlier? It's absolutely crazy. Now we've all paid for early access. We've all paid for deluxe edition, PC, PS5, Xbox. We should all get to play the game as soon as February 7th hits. There's no two which ways about it. There's no excuse for that. But hey, it seems as though PC players lose out again. I feel sorry for guys who've booked the day off, booked the 7th off, because by the time you even get to play the game, you're going to be pushing the 8th, which is not, it's just ridiculous. But there we have it, guys. So to be the bearer of bad news, but it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts on this down below, especially if you're a PC player. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy. Trust me, people, when I say this, there's going to be no channel on YouTube that's going to bring you more daily guides than me. So make sure you subscribe and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.